So guys, today we are finally installing the ABS bug deflector shield on the Toyota 4Runner. So I've been tossing this idea around for a bit now, and I finally just took the plunge on Amazon. Unfortunately, when I opened it up, finally, I don't know if you guys can see these scratches, but this thing has a lot of scratches on it. Uh, typically, I would just return it, but I am like 10 days outside of my return window just because I never got around to installing it. So that's on me. But for how kind of cheap it was, uh, not too upset, but it still just stinks that it's out of the box, you know, kind of scratched up. But why would you put this on your 4Runner? Well, the 4Runner looks great without it, but it, as you guys can see, I do have some scratches on the front of my vehicle from rock chips. So it is a little too late to do it now uh, because there are already scratches on it, but this will help prevent from future rock chips chipping up the hood. It may allow rocks to then now hit your windshield, but it's still better, you know, to replace a windshield over insurance. I get one free a year, just depends on what your state is, than having a whole hood that's all chipped up. But this thing did come with its own instructions. It's about six easy steps. It came with the hardware, so let's go ahead and install it real quick. Okay, so first step is to make sure that all this is clean. As you can see, my engine bay was pretty dirty. I did have some mud up here, so I just took some waterless wash. Went ahead and sprayed it down, then cleaned it with a microfiber. But as you can see, I already installed one, two, three, four, five. You get six of these things right here. And as you can see, you had these square spots. So where it was a square, like this, just go ahead and take it, install it. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. The instructions show it perfectly. And then go ahead to the next step. So now if you want to bring your hood down and, you know, kind of do it with a bungee cord, you can to make it a little lower. But basically the next step is to take the wind visor over and you're going to just screw this in, washer, screw, onto the wind visor up here. And it's going to screw into these little mounts that you put on all six sides. If it starts, it's fine. I took two, so I have another one now. Go ahead and... Start that right there, and I'll put a couple on the other side over there. So in there we have it, all six are on. They are hand tightened. I went ahead and made sure, you know, that everything lined up, which it does. So after you have all six in, just go ahead and tighten them down with a Phillips screwdriver and make sure that you have them all lined up. And there it is on guys. And man, like I said, these scratches just, Kind of peeved me. I mean, it is an off-road vehicle and my vehicle does, you know, get scratched up, but it just stinks when you don't intentionally do it, I guess, or unintentionally do it. Uh, the ABS will come off right here, but very, very simple install with recording as well. Maybe five minutes, if that, <laughs> five or six minutes. Very, very easy. So that's it, guys. A super, super easy install. Um, it definitely looked a lot better on my second gen 4Runner that I had. Uh, this does kind of make the vehicle look a little dated, but I do like it. So we will rock it for now and it will obviously in turn help uh, deflect bugs away from the vehicle and uh, rock chips as well, which is the most important thing. So if you guys are new around here, definitely consider subscribing. Returning subscribers as always, I appreciate your guys' support and I will catch you all in the next one. All right, see you later.